Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Renee Things, and today we're going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I wish I could paint all of these moments and vibrate. I'm not really going to ever special. I'm probably just going to go run a few errands, but I want to do a recap of my 2022, what's been going on, and you know, just a little extra thoughts and stuff that I have. And what I'm kind of doing next, but make sure y'all like, comment, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and turn those post notifications on, and ring those bells, comment down below what the best and the not so good part. I don't want to say worse because I believe that everything happens for a reason. Most things just may feel bad like in the moment, but God is good all the time. Hachaba. So I'm just gonna tell y'all kind of the good and the bad part of my 2022 and what I'm kind of doing now and like I said, what I kind of want to do for 2023 and other things. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm about to do is my hair. And so this is my last day wearing this hair and I cut it and so I really need to finish cutting it. I kind of like this side more, but we're gonna go with the short. We're gonna go with the less short and we're gonna try it because it ain't nothing wrong with trying different things. See, like, look, this part is short in the back and this part is just long, so I need to just, just cut it. But. Okay. We finna just take it. Oh my goodness, that just made me so upset. Okay. This is just, this is the real me, baby. Let me tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna break up my 2022 in two parts. Okay, so for the first six months of 2022, it was um heartbreaking. Wait, 2021 December, I had, was talking to God and was like, I can't do this no more. Like, God, like, <laughs> I just it's just not for me it's not for me and i just can't live like this anymore and i keep trying stuff my way and it's just not working so i honestly just need to chill and just give it to you because if i keep doing i keep living like this like it's not gonna go right and it wasn't going right like i was smoking and i was drinking and stuff like that and like that's fine and cool but like that's just not what i wanted to do that's not how i wanted to live so that's what you want to do do you but like me i didn't want to live like that so i was close with this girl and close with this guy we you know they just they just weren't my friends let me just be real honest they just weren't my friends and i just had to like really just understand that like i was already wait i was already like suspicious of a girl because it was just like, mm, like we had our moments like she was cool don't get me wrong but she was more of a party friend and i think i tried to make her more of like a like, okay that's friend let's transition because i don't like i don't want to be like this like i think i wanted her to go on the journey with me and this is just something that i needed to do by myself and so i had his moments but it was also um you know it was just toxic like i don't know i ended that and then I had this friend and I kind of just stopped talking to him as well because um, he just like, you know, I just kind of stopped talking to him and I was kind of sad, not really, cause I was annoyed. I was already like getting irritated with everything. And once I get irritated, baby, I be ready to stop talking to any and everybody just because I just, I don't know. I'm just extra like that, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, but, like, if I'm sick and tired of you, and, like, you just, you do one or two things I just don't like, bro, and I'm kind of working on it, but it's also, I be having reasons, because it's like, we not finna do that over here, we not finna play them games, we not finna act like that, we not finna be toxic, like, we not finna do none of that, so, I just was, I was really over it, and I was tired of partying, and I was tired of drinking, I'm not even a drinker, and but I did uh, smoke a lot of weed, and so I was just tired of that, and it was just it was a lot for me. So 
I was messing with this dude at the time and he was cool, but like, he like, he definitely was my way to like transition. I'm thankful for him. Yeah, I'm thankful for him because I feel like I need to just go through that to like actually sit down and heal and make me like heal other things. I just, like God kind of just had a 360. Then I was in a car wreck too as well. Like really what started was a car wreck because I was messing with this dude and I kind of was messing like the friends but I was getting tired. And so then I had a car wreck. I didn't have a car anymore and I couldn't go to work. So I had to not go with this family because at the time I had my like own like little babysitting thing. And um, I couldn't work with this family and it was a lot of money. At the time I was just like, oh my goodness, like this is a lot of money. <laughs> and if I pass it up, like how am I gonna make it? How am I gonna survive? God basically was just telling me like, girl, I got you. <laughs> Don't worry, she I've always known of God, but to actually be this close to how I am like now, it's um it's definitely like a different feeling that I wasn't used to. I'm used to it now, but um it was a lot, honestly. And I was going through a lot of emotions, like I would skip school because I was like sad and I was crying and stuff a lot and blah blah blah. And um like I had this I met this other friend and you know she cool but like I needed to stop being friends with her because it was just time, like I just needed to be by myself, honestly. And I needed to heal. Um I went through a lot, like a lot, that was only some of it, but I went through a lot like a lot, a lot, last, the first six months of 2022. And it was like, what was going on? Like, what was I like, well, I don't know. And then I stayed by myself. So I was like isolating and shutting everybody out. And then after that, hold on. And so, and then after that, it just kind of became like a normal thing. And so it was, it was very much ghetto. Like, I can't even explain it. It was just, it was ghetto. And I really don't <laughs> like that I went, I'm happy that I went through it now. But during that time, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I was ready to fight like everybody. So, but then after that, I ended up meeting this, like these billionaires. Oh. And it was cool. And not just for the money, but their mindset was like different. Like it was just, I was just glad to be around some people who just thought differently because you know, you can't, it's hard to heal when you have the same people around you because it's like, they see you a certain way. And it's like when you try to grow and we try to do certain things like that, it's like they can't see you that way. And I don't really be mad at them because at the same time, like everybody give their life to God differently at different times and everybody do different things. But I was just at that time, I was ready. I was like, I can't, I can't wait no more. Like, I feel like, I feel like if I wait anymore, like God's gonna be like, now nah, he's gonna be mad at me, but God's gonna be like, you, you know, you, it's time. You say you was ready. So don't, you know, don't be doing all that now. Let's, come on now. But fast forward until like maybe June or July, I ended up meeting somebody and I was cool with them. And I just like, I just, it was a, I just couldn't even interact with people. Like I wasn't interested in guys no more. Like I wasn't interested in nothing. I went through a lot of therapists trying to figure out like, dang, what I wanted to do and like who I wanted to see and stuff like that. And going, like if you on a therapy, um, like run or marathon, I don't know what to call it. But if you're looking for a therapist, do not give up. Please, I'm telling you, like, it took me dang near the whole year. Almost, took me like eight months, I think. I think eight months to find a good therapist. I had other therapists, but they just want the right match for me. And so going through therapy is like going on a speed date. Like you literally have to be vulnerable and keep opening up with the same thing and different things and stuff like that. And it's, it's tiring, but please don't give up because my therapist I have now, she is heaven sent. I pray for her. I am thankful for her because if it wasn't for her, 
I feel like charting God. Because I always, when I'm praying and I feel like I'm stuck on something in therapy, I always pray like, God, please give my um, therapist the tools to be able to, you know, get what I'm saying. My therapist, like, I've healed, like, I'm healing so much. And, like, I'm healing things I didn't even, like, remember. Like, I don't, I did not remember, like, half of the stuff that I was upset about. And God really has humbled me, like, in a lot of other ways, but those are just like the main ones. And so I'm just very grateful for it. Like I'm very grateful for her. And um, so, yeah. And I've been kind of getting like closer with my family because that's something I wanted to work on. Cause I kind of like, I'm decent. And it's not necessarily because, you know, I have to move against them. It's just, I'm a distant person. So now, I'm trying to come around my family more and stuff like that and then like sometimes some some things would just trigger <laughs> trigger me and I'll be like ow oh, I can't do it I'm triggered now I don't want to do it <laughs> but you know I am a work in progress and I'm, I'm starting to like I'm working with my therapist now to stop letting certain things trigger me and um mm -hmm. and so now like I really be I be good now like some things like that happens, it don't trigger me or as much. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I've been working on things like just trigger me and stuff like that. And you know, so far, I'm uh. I'm good on it, like, I'll be okay, but I don't know. Yeah, really, healing just takes time, and that's just something that I need to understand, that, like, I'm not gonna be better in a year, and I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna be better in those six months, just because I'm talking with my therapist, like, I def I have to, I just have to stay consistent, like, you, and, and anything you do that you really want to see change in, just stay consistent, because if you don't, like, you know, you just not gonna probably see any changes any real changes i just had to learn how to just be consistent and uh, with myself and i do a lot of drum pops and i do a lot of um different things so sometimes you just gotta you gotta let go of your own self and you gotta grieve you gotta cry you gotta let all those emotions out and you just gotta like let let it go you really just gotta let go of that person and let go of everything you thought you was gonna be and where you are and just everything because if you don't like you gonna constantly be sad because you feel like you are not getting anywhere and um, you feel like just all these things so definitely keep a journal just because it helps you see how far like you've got it and I just think that that's something that when you heal you kind of forget it's just like, dang, I'm still here. But it's like, girl, like, <laughs> you was literally here a month ago. So you're definitely not just still here. You just, it just feels like it. But you're not. So that's my take on that. Other than that, 2020, um, 2022 um, definitely has been a year of re revealing and releasing. And so, I feel like a lot of us been going through that. A lot of God's people, God, I feel like God's telling us, like, oh, yeah, like, this is y'all year, so y'all gotta come with it. And I was just, shout out, they're not gonna see this, but hopefully one day. I hope I'm able to be on this show one day. Um, B. Simone and, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. But, um, B. Simone and, B. Simone and Megan like and they just did a um an interview with pretty v and i really love it i love how like they explain things they have different people and they really don't you know judge and all that stuff on there like it's just it's nice to see you know black women supporting other black women and just black women just talking about healing instead of talking about struggling all the time and what we feel like we are obligated to do and just all this other stuff and so please go check them out because i just love them if you don't watch them you should 
So yeah, that's kind of how my 2022, um, a lot of revealing, a lot of letting go of my old friends. Trusting God, I definitely like been trusting God a lot, being very faithful, been trying to be very obedient. It's hard being obedient. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I have been, well, I hope I have. A lot of, when you heal and stuff like that too, a lot of your past definitely comes back. People I never thought I would talk to again. Like I talked to them and well, I blocked them. Girl, that block button works. If somebody ever tell you don't block somebody, girl, protect your peace, do what you need to do. For real. Because that's one thing I would do is use that block button faithfully. Because like, no, you cannot enter. You cannot come back. We cannot act like that. We cannot be together. None of that. If they come back while you're healing, don't <laughs> take them back, please. Just let them go. Tell them you'll catch them on the flip side. So just let them know, like, you're not going for it. And let's see. I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I'm going to share right now because I definitely, when I'm finished, want to make another video about what I really just overcame and stuff like that. But glory be to God always. And um, I actually have a video that I need to put out. It kind of explains like in more detail. So if y'all want that video, comment down below and put blue and red hearts. <laughs>